Now Michael Sherman taking to the course, ninth in the power rankings. Also a very strong performance at the World Championship. Yeah, the only thing that stopped him from a trip to stage three was a simple, not a simple, a single well. reverse grab. Yeah, okay. reverse grabs are simple. Okay, hello. Whoa! Takes okay, sure, got it. Pass the plane. Right back up. He gets right back up and he's moving business as usual. Yeah, I'm Giving not going to call a little bit of a scare. Simple. Catching him in the center, trying to link these Whoa. wheels. He did. Thought about linking up to the sword. Catching it. He's got to shove the sword out. Unlocking and destroying this course in 37 seconds. I'm not sure what he's shaking his head about. That was incredible. That is our current fastest time for the team division. One That's more look at this one-handed catch. Now, just to double-check, is the side of that trampoline in play for them? I would imagine it generally is. Okay, just making sure. He did step there. Want to make sure he's not stepping out of bounds. No one marked anything for him, so I take it he's fine. So the last spot in the Premier Series Finals will be occupied either by Noah Dahl or this young man, Michael Sherman. A name that has really come onto the scene in recent years. Ninth in the power rank. Third place in the World Championship, which surprises absolutely no one that knows this young man well. Well, Noah would be on the edge of the edge of his seat at the moment as he watches Michael breeze through this course, looking incredibly calm and collected as they move through skyhooks with no problems whatsoever. And now Michael just lining up the dismount here. Just going for the dismount and gets it. Kaleidoscope now. You pretty much have to be perfect if you want to get first place. However, the Fastest two clears have shown that there's definitely time to take some retries. Michael doesn't want to though, he wants the win. Michael definitely does want the win and he's using all of his experiences here as he moves into boats. Reaches around, pulls himself in. Mm -hmm. That should be good enough for top four. The only question remaining now, does he get the buzzer and what is his final place? I hope so. I'm sure he didn't come here to for fourth place. He came here for a completion. He came here to take out that top spot. He's gonna have to really push it here if he's gonna beat our top time here today. Running out of time if he wants to get first place. Not running out of time at all on his time limit. Just gets the grab on Not the trapeze, gets up to the spinning ledge. And he lines up the second one. This is the crucial point. This is the one that so many, oh, he got the landing. And now onto the third one. Spins around, Going hooks in for that in the dismount. platform. Our third clear with no blemishes our fourth clear overall and those four clears are going to be the four that move on to the premier series finals as michael sherman is going to finish on the podium what an incredible way to end out the top four you know you it's almost as if you have to complete it and as long as you finish the run um, you make it into that top four and that's a nice way to nice poetic way to end today's series for the team division incredible stuff one more look at that last pop up that's so spin. smooth. There. I love that spin around move at the end. <laughs> and you can just see how much those wheels do spin when when you put them to the test there. It's it's it, it goes. He almost came off looking a little disappointed as he's gonna end up finishing in third place. But the main task of the day, he got himself through to the finals, and it's Sean Arms taking the win.